come in. Hey everybody, uh, we're here to do a video to show you guys how to do an open circuit voltage test on a 12 volt battery for your vehicle. Um, so real quick, before we get into how to do the test, I wanna talk a little bit about uh, why you would be doing the test and what the test is actually testing for. Uh, so open circuit voltage is really just a fancy term for voltage test of the battery. Um, we know that the low voltage battery in all our vehicles right now, I'm standing in front of a Nissan Leaf, uh, but even if this was not an electric vehicle, any of your regular vehicles have a 12 volt battery um, to run all of your accessories. So uh, those 12 volt batteries generally have six cells in them, 2.1 cells each, uh, which gives us exactly 12.6 volts on a fully charged battery. Now, if we're looking at a battery as it starts to discharge, every 0.2 volts is about 25%. So if I was to go from 12.6 volts to 12.4 volts, that would be a drop in 25% and leave me with a 75% charge uh, all the way down 12.2 um, volts, then 25% uh, would be 12 volts. Anything past that's pretty much dead. So what we're gonna do to set ourselves up here is make sure that the vehicle is off, um, not key on or uh, in, this, in this vehicle's case or in any other vehicle with the engine on. We wanna test it just as it is, no accessories, anything like that. Um, first, before I hook up my meter, I wanna talk about the meter a little bit here. Uh, right now I'm using the Snap-on DVOM, but uh, you could be using a Fluke, you could be using a Harbor Freight, it doesn't even really matter. They're all gonna be essentially uh, the same in how you hook them up. They are not all created equally though. Um, so right off the bat, I'm going to set my adjustment knob to 12 volts DC. Uh, and I've got two leads for my meter to hook up to. Uh, one side of the leads is going to go to my meter. Um, pay close attention, our black lead is going to the comm or ground terminal, while the red lead is going into the voltage and ohm terminal here. This is really important that you make sure during this test you stay out of these amperage terminals. If you are accidentally hooking up the meter, while the lead is in the amperage terminal, you will blow the fuse in the meter and whoever owns that meter is not gonna be super stoked about that. So uh, we're gonna make sure that we stay in the voltage terminal on the DC volt scale. So I'll go ahead and set up the meter here so you guys can all see what I'm looking at here. Um, if you wanna get in a little bit closer, actually we'll show the battery here. I'll pop that cap off there. And what we're gonna do is hook it up, just easy matching, negative to negative, positive to positive. So I'm gonna go ahead and hook up my terminals. I should see 12.6, but right now, if you see on the meter, it shows 12.4-ish volts. Um, and we know from what I just talked about that, uh, I'll go ahead and put that there, it's pretty easy. That's it, just hooking up your red to your positive and your black to your negative. So based off of our results on this battery, it is going to show a 75% charge, right? Because it should be 12.6, but we're looking at 12.4 and some change. Um, so that's how you do an open circuit voltage test. Uh, let us know if you have any further questions on that.